let's actually lose the starting relic for this thing. That's tariff. That's interesting. I don't know how that's going to go. Oh, let's hope we get bronze scales again, because those were awesome. And it, yeah, if this guy, if this guy doesn't work, then we just go, uh, if this guy doesn't work, then we just go, uh, full, full hog attack person. Yeah, it really does feel like half of the cycles just straight up don't work on this character. I wonder if you can only cycle the same card once per round? No, none of those none of those are immediately good. Yeah, we might just have to go back to the slime. Darkstone Pure Apps. It's interesting. Okay, so what can we get? Five random potions? No. Negate the next two curses you get? Eh. Multi tool. Interesting. Brewmaster is kind of fun. Otherwise, we, yeah, we could do, we could do multi-tool. Two additional options at rest sites chosen randomly. Let's grab Brewmaster. Then I think I'm gonna remove regret. Which does not reduce my maximum HP. Okay. Kill this guy. Yeah, so I'll have to upgrade Brewmaster. So what's this? Okay, so let's do attack mode. Double defend. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bad things, honestly. We get three blur, three reflection. Interesting. Alternatively, let's just kill him. I like the idea of Brewmaster. Shift guard, five block, gain two dex, lose two strength. I'm just not sure if I went defense, if it would actually do any good for me. Point defense. When a card cycles, game one block works five times per turn. Reactive shield. When you gain block, deal through. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so it's not going to be amazing, but I'll take what I can get. Shift guard. Yeah, so we're just we're just going to go full tanky tank master on this guy. I wonder if it's uh I wonder if it's mucking with me a little bit because uh I'm actually trying to do an action before everything cycles. No, it's it's still not cycling every single... Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, it's going okay. We're, we're doing a decent job. The extra dex is good. All I need really is a move that actually does damage based on whatever my dexterity, uh, n not whatever my dexterity is, does damage based on whatever my, my defense is. If I could, uh, body slam people, we would be unstoppable. But until we get that, it's going to be kind of a weird mix. Oh, shoot, what am I doing? Let's slime him. Heals me for a little bit. Shift guard. You gotta remember that I've got uh, a free potion every single turn. Ooh, 
Blur and Reflection. That's... Okay, Reflection would be amazing. I should have used that this entire time. Because, yeah, Reflection on this character would, uh... Would kill him hard. Centennial Puzzle. Interesting. Electric Armor. There we go. Mode Shift would be... No. We gotta go Mode Shift. Electric Armor would be nice, but I feel like, uh... Okay, states the cycle only works once per card. Okay, so I just need a bigger, bigger hand for everything. So, Defensive Mode. Brewmaster. Defend. Uh, Necrotic Poison to all enemies, or let's, let's drink this and just defend. Because, yeah, effectively what I can do is just tank until I've got an insane amount of, uh, quote-unquote strength. And then just turn around and, and womp them. For boatloads of damage. Defensive mode, shift guard. Defend, defend, defend! You can't touch me! Oh, duh. Other nice thing, I'm pretty much here... Okay, Necrotic Poison. Regular Poison will not count down. Interesting. Well, I kind of like that. Let's see, so what characters have I tried so far? The Disciple, the Slime, and now this guy, the Construct. Okay, so we'll want a mode shift on around. What's my defense even up to? It's not great. Yeah, I'm gonna mode shift on around so that he's probably not gonna attack me, because otherwise I'm gonna take a load of damage that I shouldn't. What am I doing? I mean, the other thing I can do is actually just kill him with potions. I'm a little bit curious if Brewmaster... Okay. Yeah, all I have to do is hit him once. So all I need is just one regular attack. This is kind of dumb. Perfect. Mode shift. Strike. Bye. Swift potion. Zapper. When you gain strength or dexterity, deal three damage to a random enemy. It loses one strength this turn. It's a means of doing damage. Because, yeah, my main problem is I just... I barely... Barely can harm anything as I currently stand. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's. This is a good opportunity for steroid potion. Throw this at him. Okay, kill him. And we still have enough for a defend. Perfect. Honestly, I should have gone attack mode that entire time, but that that's okay. So what do we have? Can I kill him? No. Well, we could do... Sh defense mode, shift guard, and brewmaster. Let's just... let's just, uh, soak potions for a bit. Because I got... I got zapper. I can kill him slow while we get the requisite potions that we need to be... be the strongest. Yeah, so Zapper is pretty good. I'll give it that. I prefer the one that makes it so whenever I gain block, I do damage, because that would be better, but it'll it'll do damage as we go here. Uh, let's throw the Toxic Potion. It sounds interesting. Oh, I guess I don't get another. Well, that's fine. Auto Turret! Which we desperately need if I want to succeed at anything. Lantern. Alright, so where are we going? Um, 
I could go this way. This way. Three mysteries or two mysteries and a mid-boss. Or two mysteries and a bonfire. Upgrading cards might not be a bad move. What does upgrading Brewmaster do? Reduces the cost. That's not a bad move. Auto turret would be nice. Zapper is kind of okay. Mode shift. Just gets free. I'm gonna go right. Let's go after that mid boss. Okay, it's Gremlin Knob. Brewmaster, Zapper, Strength Potion, and a Strike. Okay. And skill Potion, no. Auto Turret, Strike, 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 st nope, nope. Don't have any more room for Strikes, but that's okay. All I need is Attack Mode. Doom Potion seems kind of interesting. Uh, unfortunately, these don't cycle. It's a bad, bad combo here. Whatever. That'll hurt. Oh, well, this kind of sucks. Ow! Okay, Towering Pillar of Hats. Max hand size increased by two. Handy! At the end of your turn, retain the rightmost cards in your hand. Retains one card for every three in your hand. Weird. Alright, works for me. Point defense. When a card cycles, gain one block. Works five times. Pretty good. Easy way to get free block while we're just cycling cards forever. Okay, what do you got for me? Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two HP. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable. Exhaust the first status drawn each turn. This could be kind of fun. Status killer. You mean, uh, medical manual? Yeah. Let's go medical manual. That sounds interesting. That'll keep these guys off of me. Deals two damage. Oh boy. Alright. Right. I should thorns up. What am I doing? Now what we need is the uh the thing that actually heals me every single time we get a potion. Uh let's see. Let's grab electric armor. I've got Zapper, I got Brewmaster. Let's do Zapper. Electric armor. Just tank up, because these these guys are going to hit me for 18 damage. Perfect. Okay. Point defense, auto turret, shift guard, and defense. I like being the untouchable tank man. I need more electric armor. I was kind of hoping I could brewmaster in there, but I'll take what I can get. Each turn, upgrade a random card in your discard pile. For this combat. That's amazing. Okay. Blah. Shift guard. Auto turret and brewmaster. Okay, so we get draw two cards, gain one energy. Well, first, let's do Enhance. Defense mode. Zapper. Drink that. Gets me some more. And then just defend up. 
I really like the Brewmaster card. I was kind of hoping we get some more, like, healing-related cards, but it looks like we're probably not going to get a whole lot of those. Which, honestly, probably makes a lot of sense. Well, at least they're not going to be able to touch me, which is kind of nice. A hey, Shift Guard Plus. I like Shift Guard. Okay, defend, defend. Oh, right, defense mode. And defend, defend. That extra starting energy from Runic Obelisk is actually really handy. I was, I was worried about the hand size at first, but we're good. And yeah, I might have to upgrade auto turret just so we can do a little bit more damage. Because as it stands, I am just a little bit... I'm just a little bit crappy when it uh, comes down to things. I just don't do quite a... Well, I don't do any damage. I'm just sitting here and letting them die on me. Which is fun. I guess I could actually just mode shift and then wreck this dude. There we go. Cycled. Wind cycle, gain two block. Guard core is not terrible. Let's grab guard core. Just let that go by. And let's upgrade a card. Enhance two random cards. That's not bad. Zapper would be good. Prune Master would be nice. Let's grab Enhance. Because that's probably my best. Okay, so we're up against the Guardian. Bit scary, but this is like... The best start I could have possibly had against this guy. And we'll start with the Doom Potion on him. Alright. Enhance. Prune Master. Shit, what did I... What was I doing? What was I thinking? I was supposed to defend there. All right, whatever, we'll be fine. Okay. So we... We're good. Yeah. I just made a critical mistake. And we do, in fact, get healing potions from this guy. That was actually a, a curiosity I had, whether or not we would actually gain anything that would heal me. The other question is, I wonder if we get the thing... Uh... <laughs> I wonder if we get... Oh. I want the potion that increases my max HP. I'm betting we're not going to get it, but still. Let's just grab critical hit. I'm not actually sure if critical hit's at all helpful, but it'll cycle consistently, which is kind of exactly what we need. And I don't remember if this guy actually... Yeah, this guy has no scalability. I thought he increases in his strength, but we've got the Doom Potion, so... Doesn't matter? <laughs> we finally put him in defensive mode. What's up, dude? Welcome to the team? <laughs> the game can't really handle the amount of cycling I'm rolling here. What we should probably also do, honestly, is actually get some more cards that give me defense. And there he's dead. Beautiful. Alright, Hammer Down. Hammer Down is kind of interesting. Non-rare card in your draw pile. But let's go... let's go Hammer Down. Scarier Mask, the weakest enemy flees at the beginning of multi-enemy fights. Fun pickup. Any non-boss... Non-event relic to obtain. Hubris or Backtick? 
Yeah, so many potions wasted. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Most of them weren't that helpful. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Many, many potions wasted. Uh, I really like Scarier Mask. Let's give it a go. Back ticket would be interesting on a different one, but I really want to try Scarier Mask. Right, I don't have that much money. Hmm. 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 Go this way. Because we don't have any shops. I want to get the double mid-boss, probably, or get up to this mid-boss. So knowing that, there's a lot of bonfires. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this way. It's probably a bad move. He's going to hit me for 10. I got nothing here. Okay. It's fine. Let's see. So what do we do here? I have a bad idea. Steroid potion. Mode shift. Shift guard into defense. Then point defense. For reasons. Okay, there we go. Negative seven strength. Aha! Steroid potion. Worked for me. Chuck some poison at him. Defense mode. Zapper. Oh, did that in reverse, but that's fine. He doesn't get any scarier, and now I've got potions. I guess, honestly, what I should have done was actually got the, uh, the thing that makes it so... Let's do hammer down. Double my dex. Hot diggity. That's nuts. What's that? Oh, yeah. There's zapper. Well, yeah, hammer down is uh he is goofy. I can just double my uh dex constantly. Let's hammer down again. I'm not sure what hammer down plus does. More damage, I guess? Oh, did that in reverse again. Drink one of these. We'll just uh kinda let him kill himself. Let's see, we do have mode shift. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, we could just kind of keep waiting. Let's just defend for a bit. Mode, sh mode shift will just kind of stick around for a while. Okay, defensive mode, shift guard, hammer down. Yeah, I've, I've got defense. Milkshake. You can retain up to five energy between turns until the end of combat. That's handy. Get rid of the fear potion. Oh. Should have used hammer down. Oh well. I mean, I don't really need to. What is that? Liquid thorns? This is a pretty good set of things, honestly. Nothing offensive related, though. What I want is mode shift and, uh... Hammer down at the same time, or... I don't know. I'm being picky here. Because I can do it. We should upgrade auto-target for obvious reasons, because... Uh... Or, you know, if there was anything that would make it so my dexterity just does boatloads of damage... Oh, right. I could fire potion him. Hit him with a fire potion. And he's dead. Oh. Dissipate? No. Deal five damage to all enemies. Gain one blur. 
Shift Strike would be interesting, but not for this run. <sighs> nah. 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 Okay. Thievery be interesting. Three colorless cards to obtain. Also interesting. Could get another shift guard. Specialist, though. And another auto target, just so I actually do some damage. Especially if I upgrade both of those. Alright, birds. And one of them left. Sweet, goodbye. Alright, so here's the question. Specialist, does that increase the damage that auto target does? I guess we'll find out. I'd better. Oh, I should liquid liquid bronze for this fight. Let's see. Enhance shift guard. Uh, this is gonna hurt a bit. It's fine. They'll they'll kill themselves to some degree. But it will hurt a bit. Never mind. There they go. It works. It works, and oh, that's an amazing combo. Let's grab Suppressive Fire, actually. Having Blur would be nice. Ingest Mutagens. Obtain a special relic or transform two cards. Relic. What do we get? Mutagenic Strength. Start each combat with three strength, then lose three strength. Ha! Huh. Alright, that kind of has some... <laughs> oh, I really like Scarier Mask. I do not regret picking that out. Okay. Uh, what do I got? Six Poison. Mode Shift. Let's do Attack Mode. Oh no, I should have done Zapper. Oh. Dang. I didn't realize that it would make me draw some more cards. I'm not actually sure how that happened. Well, that's fine. Okay, so we want to do defensive mode. Shift guard. Auto turret. Oh, I should have done brewmaster. Whatever. Point defense, defend, defend, defend. Okay, so there's Brewmaster. Uh, and then just, we'll defend. He'll probably kill himself. Nope. Ow. And there he goes. Yeah, that extra one damage is amazing. Whenever you gain block, four damage to the low reactive shield plus. Yes. That will make my life a lot easier. All right, let's smith up a card. No. It's got to be Specialist. Specialist has made me dangerous. In an amazing way. Hey, thank you, Spider-Man13000 for the sub and Widehammer for the 14-month resub. Thank you both so much, and welcome to Bullshit Mountain once more. It's nice to be back. My legs were a bit rusty coming up, but I, I think we I think we found them. And then some. Okay. Ah, uh, these suck. I think we'll be okay though. Once we have enough decks, he can't touch me. Even if he wanted to. Defensive mode. Defend. Auto turret and suppressive fire, which I don't think is actually going to help here, but at all. This Sneko is not going to be happy about any of the things that I'm subjecting it to. It is still managing to hit me, mainly because I'm not getting as many uh, just basic defend cards. But we do a lot of damage just cycling forever. Uh, I'm going to grab the boost. We need, uh, we need more, like, blockish cards. I don't know what these portals do. Let's see, it hasn't been released on Workshop yet, but when it does, you should do a run with Slay the Streamer. Sure, why not? Okay, wow. 
I've been playing this for four hours. Seriously does not feel like that. Uh, let's keep upgrading. I could upgrade Brewmaster. Because Hammer Down just does more damage. Now let's upgrade Brewmaster so it's not as much of a, uh... An Albatross. Ancient tea set Andy. Smith up. We could do Zapper. I should probably do Point Defense. Maybe. I'm not actually sure if that works with... Dexterity. Otherwise, we could do, like, Auto Turret. What is Suppressive Fire? No. Mode Shift. It's free. Otherwise, let's actually do Shift Guard Plus. Okay, we can still get up here. I'm betting I can go after a mid-boss. Let's fight him. Lowest guy pieces out. I have seven energy for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened. All right, let's do Specialist. Reactive Shield. Point Defense. Drink this. Discard both of these. Boost into him. Poison him. And then we just get attack mode, which isn't very helpful. Okay, so we have Shift Guard. We have Auto Turret. Not exactly the best start, but we'll be okay. It'll take a bit to kill Bear. By a bit, I mean, like, no time at all. Yeah, we're actually really dangerous here. Unfortunately, it means I don't get my defensive setup up as fast, because we've got a number of powers and some other things. Let's see, we get a dex card. Let's... Get rid of that. Dex Potion. Quick Attack. Three damage. Gain two dex. No. Memory Tap. Random red, green, and blue card to your hand. They cost zero this turn. Exhaust. That's interesting. I might be throwing a couple of these in favor of dumb science, but that happens. Okay, so let's do Dex Potion. Power Potion. Let's go with... Maybe Synchronize. Yeah, the main problem is we've got a lot of these powers that show up on the first round, and I have nothing to actually give me the defense. I need stuff like Shift Guard. Once we have Shift Guard, we're, we're golden. But until we do, not so golden. Okay, so... Double defend, and then I'm going to do Memory Tap just to see what I grab. Scrap Shanks. Each time you discard a card during your turn, add a shift to your hand. Interesting. Streamline. Sure. There's also cards in your hand. Two damage for each, each and exhaust. I don't need the auto turret. I'll be fine without it. Okay, weaken him. Necrotic poison. Don't need. Random shiv. Enhance. Zapper. And then I should probably de defend a couple of times. Okay. The Gambler's Chip would actually be an amazing item for this. And he's just dead. We also get the boot, which might be cool. Ooh, game four block and three-plated armor. Yeah, that's that's a card I've been waiting for. Keep going this way. <laughs> this scarier mask is incredible. Are all of these innate? I swear, I keep getting um some of these, and it kind of sucks. I mean, I know reactive is. Well, it's okay. So what do we got? He's not going to hurt me now. Zapper, point defense. I have nothing for either. Uh, I guess I could have done the steroid potion, but eh, happens. Okay, so we're going to get hexed here pretty bad. Milkshake up, because I don't need it that much. Boost him. Honestly, let's just do shift guard.
Hit him for another eight. And then defend twice. We'll end up with dazed for days. Okay. So we can do... Defense mode. Metal shell. Suppressive fire. Oh, and I could have and should have done the dex potion. This guy hurts. Okay. We're fine. Uh, let's get rid of the elixir, grab an explosive potion, force field, innate, retain, gain block. Yes! Actually, we need force field plus pretty bad. Do we go after the mid-boss? Because that was a regular... Yeah, we're doing it. I should be fine. Okay, so specialist. Reactive shield. Enhance. Boost. Force field. Okay, took out his little goon. Then we'll go dex, blast him. Auto turret, brewmaster, and a defend. Yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see. Defense mode, hammer down, kill him. And we'll just do that. Ow. We'll be maybe okay. Shift guard. I'm just... It takes me too long to get my combo going because I've got too many other things for a bit. Uh, do we do memory tap? Memory tap. Weight training. One strength, lose two HP. No, poison stab, sure. And auto shields. And we can't do any of the rest of these. So I'm just gonna wait. Okay, drink that. Gain some energy. I'm gonna just drink all of these. Point defense. Metal shell. Absolutely. Defense, defense. Suppressive fire. And then we wait. Hopefully we can get some more potions here. Or regen or something. Okay, so defend. Actually... We can retain that. Let's use Zapper. He's gonna die at some point. Uh, it's gonna do nine damage. Uh, we'll hit him with that. I'm just hoping for some more Ely moves. He's still not gonna hit me. It's end turn. Yeah, it's a no heal run. Yeah, I don't have any heal moves here. Now, I could go full steroid and just wreck him here. But no, I've still got regen for a couple more turns. So let's just drink that, kill that guy. He's still not going to hit me, so there's no reason to do anything. Deal two damage to him. Because, yeah, I'm trying to regen up a little bit. And he's dead. Hey, Orichalcum! That's a solid starter. Get laser core. Okay, so Smith, rest, or brew. We gotta rest. This is not as cool of a bonfire as I was expecting it would be, but that's fine. Alright, sup, Dad? How's it going? Okay, so this is actually kind of great. So, swap my strength and dexterity. Well, no. First, we're going to strength. Then, we're going to swap. That gets me five dex. I can use auto turret, specialist, reactive shield, force field defend, and defend. And I've got plenty of defense on this one. Am I going to look at more mods after this run or have another go with what I have? No, no. Yeah, no idea, actually. Uh, realistically, uh... There's only so many on the uh, workshop right now. I'm hoping over the next couple of days, we will end up with a lot more. Uh, let's see, he's on, yeah, okay, let's do, let's do a hammer down and then a defend. I think I can out-muscle dad, no problem. Uh, okay, we're good. Enhance, brewmaster, zapper. Yeah, it's scary when we don't get any uh, block cards.
Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, being able to retain, have it blur would be absurd. Okay, so let's, let's see. Let's do shift guard and memory tap. Just get that out of here. Alchemize. Oh, right. Speaking of. Let's get a boost up in this. Whenever you play a power card, channel a lightning. Interesting. Gets me an alchemize. Gets me another power card. Gets me siege form. After you play a card, no. Let's get another zapper here. Rupture, which I don't think is going to change a gosh darn, and we're good. Yeah, there's a little bit of healing here and there, but not not in this one. Okay, so starting with dex would be good. Hammer down. Metal shell, which is absurd. Okay, and that's actually the extent. Normally I'm worried about this guy's infinite scaling, but uh, not this round. Uh, let's see. Apply the poison. Ooh, 50 damage. That's scary. Let's go with the retain. Yeah, hold on to force field. It's handy. Auto turret. Boost. Shift guard. Defend. Suppress a fire. He'll die. He ain't gonna touch me. Has a lot of buffs. I am a buff construct. Okay. When a non-upgraded card cycles, exhaust it and deal 8 damage to a random enemy. That'd be interesting. Every time you play three cards, swap your strength and dexterity. Ah! Lose all your block. Deal one and a half times that much damage to all enemies. Hey, there it is. Been waiting for that to show up. Uh, let's see. Gain energy at the start of each turn. Less map information. All cards cost zero. Any card entering your discard pile is exhausted. Or Cursed Key. I want to go Cursed Key. One, because yet more energy. And two, Darkstone... Uh, Pirap synergizes pretty well with it. So what do we do? I'm leaning... We have a shop up high. No, they're all down low. Constantly. It's dumb. I hate it. I'm a pretty good mid-boss slayer. Well, we could do mysteries and mid-bosses. Yeah, let's do that. Imagine Dead Branch with Black Hole. It would be scary. Okay, so... Oh. Who's one focus? Was that always there? Must have been. I don't channel anything anyway. Active Shield, Specialist, Zapper, Brewmaster. And... I'm probably fine without the decks. I've also got the Orichalcum, which is a nice starting thing, plus... Force field, which is innate. I forgot about that. Auto turret. Defend. I'm going to explode and hit them, so I don't... I'm going to hold on to shield burst for a while. I lose one focus was not always there. I've seen it go by a couple of times, though. Uh, let's see. I haven't gotten an extra... Strike from Hell. 8 damage. This card is exhausted and increases damage by 2 and place it in your hands. Interesting. Okay. This kind of works. Is working? Is working. Lifeblood. Kind of neat. I guess I should have saved that regen potion. What am I doing? Whatever. I've got so many potions it doesn't even matter. Next turn, gain 11 block. No, I actually like anticipates. So let's let's grab that to the list. Okay, so we've got this guy. Deep breath and deep breath. Sure. Mode shift. No. Cycle of HP is greater than twenty. Gain three energy. Draw three cards. Sure. Not really amazing stuff, but I wasn't really hoping for too much. 
If you have unspent energy at the start of your turn, draw the many cards at the start of your next turn. Interesting. I like the idea of unpl uncanny aura at some point. At the end of your turn, gain one strength and energy for each other unplayable card in your hand. I don't know if it would work well with any of my current builds, though, which is unfortunate. None of these are unplayable. I could do auto turret. Let's go light bulb. Because that might be kind of fun. Do I have any cards that I'd even remove? I kind of like my build. Apart from getting rid of a strike. Get rid of a strike. The bomb would be interesting, but I'm not actually sure if it triggers with a... Uh, this thing is absurd. Scarier Mask is amazing. I'm just going to repeat that forever. Okay. And actually, while we're here, I can just hit one of these guys. That's rare. And yeah, any unspent energy gets turned into extra cards on the next round, which is so good for this. Now let's grab point defense. Zapper, maybe? Uh, and another defense. Would have liked to do suppressing fire, but eh. Okay. Either of them are gonna hurt me. What's my dex? Not great, not bad. Let's just kill time. This is working out well. And yeah, we can we can look into uh, trying out a new character. I just wanted to secure a win tonight. And we have got that. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Blur! Equilibria. Or Infernal Blade. Scrap Cannon. Deal three damage, exha exhaust a card. Get out of here, mode shift. No one likes you. And I like the idea of e Equilibrium, just not useful on this round. Okay, defense mode. Anticipate. And Kablamo! Okay, point events plus plus. Or we could just get charge shot and just hold on to it forever. It's not amazing. Let's get point defense plus. On the red mask. Gain money. Not really that helpful, but. Oh, sup giant head. I'm not actually sure how this is going to go. Okay, well, I think we scale better than he does. Cleaving finish. No. Poison darts. No. Reprogram. Okay, let's get rid of... These three. And I can do a little bit of damage to him. Let me see. Lifeblood, let's do that. Explosive potion, chuck it at chuck it at him. Boost. Okay, so we've got defense mode. Metal shell. Uh boost isn't gonna cost anything. And we can do that. Necrotic poison's kind of interesting. I don't know if I like it. We'll do suppressing fire. Hold on to whatever block I've got. This is gonna start getting hairy, but we do have force field that I'm just holding on to. Okay, there's Brewmaster. There's Hammer Down. There's some other things. Uh, let's see. So let's start with Hammer Down. I'd like to do Brewmaster here. We could just do Brewmaster here. Let's just do Brewmaster here. Okay, and let's get rid of those two. And I do not want to do attack mode. I honestly, I should probably have gotten rid of attack mode at the shop. Now that I think about it. Okay, so boost. Deep breath. Defense mode. Reserves. Well, that's kind of handy. Okay. I've got more defense. So let's do this for the suppressing fire. Uh, and then hit him with poison darts. I draw the extra cards, but I don't really need it. 
wrecked. You realize if the boss is Timekeeper, you're going to get wrecked, right? I'm not sure if Timekeeper actually is a problem. Uh, let's see. 153 damage. Blammo! Uh, so, elite enemy... Oh, elite enemies have less HP. That's kind of handy. Reduce your energy to zero. Deal damage equals to five times the number of cards in your hand. Read damage to a random enemy two times. Now, let's just keep grabbing boost. Um, so, I don't know if cycling counts against Timekeeper. I've never seen this thing before. Okay. So what do we have? Temp HP. Grab these. Versatility. Quick attack. Okay, so let's do quick attack, versatility. Oh, interesting. It changes its intent, intent when you hit it. Okay, so it's going to do two damage to me. I'm going to hold the force field for the time being. But yeah, I get the feeling time eater would probably not actually be a big deal. And we don't have any decks yet. Let's draw a card. I could go Brewmaster. This, yeah, this is going to be a longish fight anyway. That worked out. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately I only have a handful of dex gain abilities here, which sucks. That's the one problem. I mean, it's okay. I can more or less intimidate this guy into not hitting me, which is kind of nice, actually. Do boost. Ah, shit. He did not like that one. Okay. Well, it's fine. There's Shift Guard. I should have gotten more Shift Guard. Because, yeah, without Shift Guard or Defense, uh, any of my more, like, defensive moves, I kind of can't do anything to him. Let's see. Compile Driver. That barely does anything. Oops, I discarded that. All right, whatever. Let's see, he can add permanent curses. Well, that sucks. I mean, luckily, that actually gave me extra HP. So that's kind of fine, in a way. Like, yeah, obviously kind of shitty, but kind of fine? We can go after the mid-boss. What the, the... You... Really? Alright, whatever. Mode shift. Brew, brewmaster. Reactive shield, specialist, and let's do anticipate, because he's not going to hit me. He also is a time collector. Is he just giving me cards? That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Okay, hammer down. Buff my defense. And then just wait. He's a weird one. Can't deny. Shift guard. What do we have? Accumulate. Make a copy of non-rare in my hand. Eh. Guess I'll hit him with boost. Let's just uh, save for the next one. Uh, let's see. Unbalancing Blast. No. Shifting Stance. That's really worrying. It might be okay, but, like, I think I'm going to stay very, very far away from it. It just doesn't seem safe for me. Okay. Point Defense. 
Zapper, Enhance, Deep Breath, Antimatter. Eh. And yeah, I can't get rid of Parasite. But yeah, I did actually increase my maximum HP. Oh, I didn't block there. I just kind of assumed I had enough defense to, to tank it. That's my fault. Then again, I'm not actually sure if I had any defensive cards in there. But yes, this is a Darkest Dungeon boss. You are not mistaken. Let's do Analyze, Hammer Down, Synchronize. Not that it's really going to help that much. Alright, so, boost. Defend. Force field, force field, shield burst. Probably could have shield bursted him a long time ago. Shuriken! Interesting. Save state, retain your hand? No. Disrupt would be interesting. Get disrupt. Okay, Bald Geyser. On pickup, choose a card. Each time you shuffle your deck, this card is placed on top. Shift guard. Always. I could go... Mystery, mystery. Yeah. Let's see some mysteries. Bottled geyser. No, I don't want to rebottle anything. Because that would be... That would be a mistake. Let's do deep breath. Mode shift. It's good for the extra decks. Let's knock your strength down a bit. Specialist, reactive shield, that, and I've still got enough defense that I'm not going to take any damage here. See, do I have a Darkest Dungeon series on YouTube? I do and I don't. I have never finished Darkest Dungeon because it is painfully long and it's very difficult for me to actually do a series on the game. Oh, much to my general sadness. I keep forgetting to drink potions. I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. Anything to boost my def- nope. Oh, I guess it's my dexterity. Eh, that's more than enough. But yeah, I, uh... I would like to finish a run of Slay the Spire someday. I just- I've never been able to manage the time. Doomed. Die. Oh. Oh, I see. Using it kills you. Huh. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Well, that's one way to finish that run. Kill myself. <laughs> oh, that was a brain fart and a half. That's what I get for playing this game at midnight. Um, yeah, what happened there? I made a critical error, like, reading it, and I'm like, I guess we'll see what it does, and the answer is it did what it, did, it said it would do. <laughs> I died! <laughs> I, yep, alright, well, that happened. Uh, let's go take a look at what other, what other, uh, things have been added to this game, maybe in the intervening hours. So, haven't done Marissa... Uh, we have Hubris. I have the Mystic, but it didn't work? I don't know. Let's see. Infinite Spire. New content. Oh. More relics. Sure. Yeah, the main thing is I don't want to touch many of these because I don't know what they are and they don't have any... Yeah, like this? I... No. Yeah, a lot of these straight up just don't have, like ratings or anything like that, and so I'm just going to stay away from them, even if that's not actually uh, the right thing. If there's anything I should look for, I'll go for it, but like half of these just don't seem worthwhile. Okay, so let's, let's, do, let's, let's do a couple more runs. Play with mods, obviously. I'm going to have to play more of that, though. Okay, so this, this base mod, I need to actually go and destroy, so let's get rid of, or let's grab some of these.
These all work. Cool. Yeah, most of them are fine. Well, it's fine. Uh, let's see. So am I not going to switch games? We'll do... I don't know. We'll do one more run and then I'll switch games. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at maybe the Mystic. Otherwise, I'll just play more tomorrow. I'm giving my hand a little bit of a rest to some degree. It was kind of hurting after, what, six hours of Hollow Knight yesterday. Hollow Knight is an amazing game, but it is just a little tough on my digits. And I meant to... I meant to switch it up tonight, or meant to switch it up yesterday, too. I, I don't know. 